Hey guys, um, fun fact, uh, the video you're about to watch, for some reason, for some reason I'm like super awkward in it the whole time, so like, that's fun, enjoy, um. I love how in making an apology clip for the video being awkward, I was actually able to make the video more awkward and uneasy to watch. I'm so sorry, I really don't know what's going on. What's up, people? Um, it is May 31st. June officially starts tomorrow. It is 87 degrees, almost 89 degrees, and I think that means that it's summertime. And I wanted to do a uh, little favorites video um, before, like a spring favorites before it got too deep into summer, so that's what this is. That's the video that you're watching right now. Welcome. Uh, anyway, so... This is already going so well. Okay, so... Yeah, so I wanted to do a little um, spring highlights of different things that um, I discovered during spring or got or whatever. First thing that's really important. Um, I used to only watch Netflix like all the time, mainly The Office on repeat over and over the same episodes. So, you know, uncultured. But um, for the past like month, month and a half, I really have not even touched Netflix at all. And I've been watching almost only YouTube. Um, and there's two main people that I've been watching that I discovered during spring um, that I want to share with you. So the first YouTuber that I discovered this season that is really incredible that I love is Levi Bernhardt and he made one of those uh, send this to your group chat with no context videos and like kind of exploded off of that but um, he's literally so hilarious um, he does like nothing you're literally watching him do nothing and it's so funny and entertaining and I love all his videos um, yeah my favorite of his videos is called I turned my head into a pumpkin DIY Halloween makeup. Yeah, you definitely need to subscribe to him and watch his videos because they are so funny. And he just started recently and he's incredible. So like support this young growing bean. The other person I've been watching religiously this season is um, Haley Pham. And a lot of you probably have heard of her. She's way more popular than Levi is. Um, but she is just a vlogger who I love watching do literally anything. Don't know why. She's super cool, chill, charismatic, and funny and quirky. And she's always got like different other people in her videos. And I really like the variety. And uh, she has a main channel and a vlog channel. And her vlog channel is my personal favorite because it's just like spending the day with Haley and it's great so definitely check her out um the next thing that I wanted to talk to you about is being super basic and showing you clothing things thrifting things that I got this season so ah uh, yay we love being super basic but actually these are cool finds um so first I'm gonna start off with the most incredible purchase that I made this entire month which is this hoodie or okay let's try that again um the most incredible purchase that i made this whole season is this um purple striped polo not hoodie i don't know why i said that you can see it has like awesome it has a lot of great colors oh it smells really good um <laughs> i must have worn this already shout out to beach giza for having the best cologne ever um this is just a giant ad i'm so sorry why are you watching this i really don't understand but yeah i got this from the thrift store for four dollars four dollars and it's literally one of my favorite shirts ever i never get polos but this design is so cool so retro totally something that i would want to find in a thrift store like this is exactly what I go to a thrift store to find is stuff like this. And it was $4, so I literally don't understand how you could not go for that. Then similarly in the same type of style, I'm really going for that 80s vibe recently because I got this shirt at Forever 21. And um, you know, so I always go in there because they, sometimes they have some really cool stuff and it's not super expensive. I've worn it like 20 times already and I've washed it a million times and the colors are still really vibrant as you can see and I only got it for ten dollars um, Yes, and then the next thing I want to talk about is a shirt that's in the washing machine right now So you're just gonna have to imagine it here and then see it on my body But um, I found this shirt also at the thrift store It was something that I it was the first 
purchase that I made at the thrift store that I was like, wow, I really need to go to the thrift store more often because I usually find nothing at the thrift store. And so then I went uh, spontaneously one time and I found this shirt and I thought it was super cool. It says, have you been to the moon lately? Because I guess there was some cafe around here that was like a coffee shop and it was like space themed or like the moon. I don't know. I was never there. It's probably long closed down right now. Uh, go thrifting more often because that shirt was $7. The last thing that I wanted to talk about in the clothing department was um, these shorts that I'm wearing right now. So um, you'll see them in the little video thing that is probably playing right now over top of my voice. These are my new favorite shorts. They're super short. They're from H&M. They're only $12. H&M's price range really varies. Sometimes I found things there for like $10 and then other times I found things that I really like that are like $50 that really shouldn't be. So I always go to H&M and just look around everywhere because they have such a big selection and then pray that when I look at the price tag, it's not insane and ridiculous um but yeah um the next thing that i wanted to talk to you about is we'll do music okay so music is like a huge thing i spend so much time listening to music every day and um i wanted to share with you my favorite songs that i found i don't know if i uh, s these are songs that i found during spring not necessarily all ones that came out during spring some of them are but um the first Big one that I wanted to share with you is um, this song called Crash by Froy. Um, Froy is an actor. He was in Teen Wolf, I guess. I don't know. I've never seen Teen Wolf, but um, he just started his music career recently, and uh, I really like his song Crash. It sounds exactly like what you'd want for if you were driving in a convertible downtown somewhere in the middle of the night. It is that song. It is your driving at night song, whatever you want to call it. Um, Next song that I want to share with you actually just came out like, it came out last month, um, it's called Broken by Kim Petras. Kim is someone that I went to see Troye Sivan. Uh, Kim opened for him and I was like, wow, you're incredible. Um, and she played her whole discography at the time, which was only like six songs, but now she has almost 20 songs and she's been releasing a song or two every month for the past like three months and she just is a machine and she's incredible and great and I love her. The next song I want to talk to you about is this song called um, Paradise by Cub Sport. I've never heard of this artist before and thinking back, I actually have no idea how I found this song at all. It is so good. It is your new summer bop. It is going to be on every summer playlist that you have. It is so much fun and it is just like a perfect summer vibe. Okay, so something that I wanted to do um, since I am so like, I'm my main platform is uh, Instagram and I've been using Instagram for a long time and I um, really love finding uh, different cool accounts and I'm always looking at people that have cool feeds and um, nice edits or whatever, mainly to steal their ideas, but um, also just to appreciate what they're doing. So one thing that I wanted to do for this was highlight some accounts that I found on Instagram that I really liked over the past few months. But this is something that I really wanted to incorporate into this video since I personally use Instagram so much. Um, and a lot of you probably are from Instagram, if not all of you. Um, I don't know how any of you would find this video if you're not from my Instagram. So if you're not from Instagram and you're watching this video, hi, please tell me how you got here because Okay, the first account that I wanted to highlight is, okay, the account username is called Roses Don't Cry. Their feed is absolutely beautiful, super stunning. They have a lot of really unique um, portrait type photography stuff with lots of mixed mediums that I wouldn't have thought of. Like there's this cool picture of um, two people and they're separated by like bubble wrap. It's really cool. Like this account uses lots of items that I wouldn't have thought to incorporate into a photo. So that's like, I, and again, I don't even know how I found this account at all, but um, so yeah, that's Roses Don't Cry. Okay, so um, the next account that I wanted to talk about is a photographer that has a name that I literally have no idea for to pronounce. So I'm gonna try and butcher it guaranteed, but um, it's Ivia Ace Vito, <laughs> Ace Vito, I don't know. I'm such an uncultured white male. Yeah, this, Photographer's style is really cool because it sort of reminds me of the way that a lot of Instagram photography is turning to more film style now, but he keeps a lot of vibrant colors in his photos where a lot of film stuff is more just brown and beige and um, dull. And a lot of these photos are very 
there's lots of like pink and yellow and blue and red in his photos and he finds like he's using um, light as his main source of color if that makes sense but I really like the things that he's doing um, the next account that I wanted to talk about is um, Zeph Butterfly that's the name uh, the username is Zephanie Jong I really just found her account very recently and I've never heard of her before but she's got a big pretty big following um, I don't know where it came from exactly she does lots of cute little art posts and selfies and some posed pictures but then she does lots of flat lays and she does just some a lot of really cool art things and I love the way that her feed looks it's really all um, different posts but it's all really well put together and that all looks cohesive so big shout out to Zeph butterfly I hope I'm famous enough one day that you'll draw me because you're incredible <laughs> um, that is everything. I just wanted to th like throw this out here real quick in case anyone enjoys this kind of content. I don't know, who knows? I like making videos. I just made this video, so let me know if you liked it. Um, and I'll do one at the end of all the seasons with new Instagrammers, new YouTubers, new music, whatever, all any anything else you wanna see. And uh, comment and let me know what you found this season. Tell me your favorite spring songs, spring movies, YouTubers, Instagrammers, fashion. Tell me all about it. I want to hear about the songs you found because I listen to the same four songs every day and I'm getting bored. So please give me new music in the comment section. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Um, anyway, that's all. Bye.